Hello, welcome again to our channel. My name is Daniel from the Kema Empire and in our video today we'll be discussing about uh, the passport issue in the developing application process. So, if you did apply for your developing and you are still waiting for the source to come out, your selection is about to come out. You need at this time to start processing for your international passport if you don't have one. I understand that some of the countries the passport takes longer period of time to come out and other countries it takes a shorter period of time to come out. So depending on your situation, you need to start preparing for an eventuality in the selection process in case you are selected you will be required to fill your ds-260 form and there will be a section in the ds-260 form where you enter your passport number so without delays in filling your ds-260 form it's advisable that you start processing your passport Say that when the time comes of filling your DS-260 form, you will not get issues. You do it the area or the earliest you can. So this passport, it should be an international passport, not a pass permit. This passport that you want to use, if you read up one, it should be varied and should be having more than six months expiry date from the time you receive or the, from the time you go for your interviews because the visa that you're going to be given it is varied for six months the immigrant visa that you will be given if you pass your interview that is supposed to be affixed in your passport is varied for six months so that's why they also need when you present a passport it should be a passport that has more than six months uh, to expire say so that it will be able to accommodate the six months in the visa if it is having less than six months they will not stamp or they will not affix the visa in that passport so prepare and check on your expiry date in your passport and if in case you applied your DS-260 form then the passport that you used to fill that DS-260 you get that by the time you go for the interview it could be expired or it will be having less than six months it's advisable that you take a copy of uh, your passport and start processing for a new one such that during the time of the interview you will present the old expired passport and the new passport so they will look at the passport number that you used to apply uh, to fill your ds 260 form which is expired then they will affix the visa in the new processed passport and in case you lose the passport that you applied or you fill the ds260 with before the date of the interview you can process a new passport and go with the copy of the old passport which is lost to the interview plus an abstract from the police explaining the circumstances under which your passport was lost so those are the documents that you need to go with during the interview in case you lost your passport the passport is a very important thing and at the end of every time when you go for the interview or before going to the interview make sure at the back or the last page of your passport or the covers page you write the name of the contact person and the phone number in that back page of your passport 
such that in case you lose your passport or your passport is lost, that person that you have indicated in pencil is the one to be conducted or someone who gets this pass lost passport will call that number and your passport will be traced back to you. So make sure that this passport that you are going to use for the interview it is clean, clear, without writings, without anything altered in the passport. And make sure that the passport now that you are going to present for the interview, it has more than two leaves or pages remaining, more than two pages, one for the visa stamping and another one that will be stamped at the port of entry. We need a page for the visa, another page for stamping at the uh, port of entry. And sometimes, if you are connecting to the United States, you may land in a, a country where you are supposed to clear with the authority or in the airport. They also need to stamp somewhere. So that's why we say the passport that you have to provide should be having more than two leaves. Two leaves as like four pages. So as such that it is for visa, a fixation, and stamping at the port of entry and at the same time if you land in some other countries where they have to stamp they get a space to stamp on so guys the passport issue is one of the most important thing in this uh, DV lottery process initially they used to ask that you scan and send your passport bio page to KCC when documents were being sent before the year 2022. So after 2022, they say there's no need of document being sent to KICC. They only need the passport number, which is supposed to be entered in your DS-260 form. And in case you have derivatives who have no passport, but you as the principal applicant, you have the passport, you can go ahead and fill your DS-260 form because you are the principal applicant and you have your passport. And later on, and for the derivative, you say other traveling documents. Then later on, if your case number will take longer time, you can unlock your DS-260 form and enter the passport numbers for your derivatives after you have processed them. Do not take a long period of time to wait to obtain the passport for your derivatives so that you can fill your DS-260 form. It will cost you time and by the time you submit it to KCC, you may get that you are late or it may take a longer period of time to be processed and yet maybe your case number will be current by the time you submit your DS-260 form with the passports you have been waiting for. So those are some of the facts about the passport and the DB lottery process. So guys, let's always submit, uh, subscribe to our channel. And for the returning subscribers, we always welcome you back. And we are still doing good. We have done so many videos. You can check on our channel and you will be able to learn a lot out of what we always put forward thank you guys and may god bless you all